Hey, how you doing guys? I'm at my boy's house for the first time. Box of trap fruits, so we're gonna make something really quick, really simple, and most importantly, delicious. So, pan fried sea bass, uh, couscous. Uh, we were using whole wheat couscous as opposed to normal couscous, just because it's a little bit more healthier, high in fiber, and it'll keep you fuller for longer. So no more snacking or sweets in between. Let me start again. Couscous, pan fried sea bass, and a mango salsa. Done, 20 minutes will be out. I kind of have an idea what's inside, um, but let's have a look. I'll tell you what I'm gonna use. Just because this pineapple's looking juicy, we're gonna use a pineapple as well. And some of these lemons. And probably a bit of ginger. So we're gonna start, I should say, with a sea bass. Two tips. When you know these two tips, you'll never, you will always get sea bass perfect. So first tip, have a really nice dry skin. If it's wet, dab it out with a bit of kitchen, kitchen roll. And second tip, get your pan really nice and hot. We're gonna, we're gonna caramelize, get a really nice crispy skin on the sea bass. Color equals flavor. So the more color you get on these bad boys, the more flavor. So you remember what I said about heat, yeah? The higher the heat, the better. We're gonna have a really nice crispy skin and a really nice soft flesh inside. So hover out the, hover over the pan, that's one way. So if you feel good heat, it's ready to go. Or you wanna listen. So have a listen. Can you hear that? That's what you wanna hear. Push down for a couple of seconds because if it's really fresh fish, it's gonna curl. This is a color that I wanna look for. If it's not this color, put it back down. So you wanna just get the tip of your spoon or spatula, go underneath. See that golden brown is there, but it's not there. I wanna, go, I wanna get it all the way through. Nice golden brown. Like that, okay. Yeah, and then we just turn over. Two tips on your fingers, get rid of that oil. Just to finish, a little bit of butter. And remember I took out that lemon or the lime. We're just gonna add a couple of drops. Just, and then we're just gonna nappe that butter over the top of that fish. Look at that, look how beautiful that looks. And that was like two minutes. The fish is done, so just very, very simply, that pan is still on, it's still got the juices of the fish, the butter, Roughly chop, really nice and quick. Some garlic, if you like garlic, use two. If you're not really a garlic fan, just use one. Straight in the pan. That remainder, those remainder juices, the butter, the lemon, all we've done is added a little bit of garlic and we literally just throw in the couscous in there. If you want, you can add some spices, paprika, um, coriander, fennel seeds, whatever you want. A little bit of salt, a little bit of stock, not much. And just to give it a little bit of colour, an extra spice, pinch of paprika. Enzy thing, dude. Nah, no, I ain't doing it. Sort of. Um, and then just hot water, garlic, bit of stock, and a little bit of paprika. Watch the sizzle. That's it. We just want literally just enough to cover the couscous. And that lemon we used earlier, we're just gonna pop it on top. If you haven't got a lid, literally pop a plate on top just like that, and that's it, done. We've got the garlic, paprika, little bit of stock, water, Stephanie, finish. All we need to do now is the salsa. Fish done in four minutes, the couscous done in two. Let's get it. What we're gonna do is a really, really quick salsa. Cucumber, slice, one, two, three, and then turn, do the same, one, two, three. We've got some really nice slices of cucumber. Slice that in. We don't need much, that's about enough for now. Get a handful, a couple of tomatoes. You're gonna run your knife all the way through. To be honest, if you have a bread knife, it would be a lot easier. Run your, run your knife through, and you just literally just slicing your tomato. Cucumbers, tomatoes, how to chop an onion. So the root always away from you. Tip of the knife. You don't want to go all the way in. You want to stop about 80% in. Have your hands like a tiger. And all you're doing is just slicing down. And again, have your, knife, your hands on top and you're just slicing straight through. You've got onions, tomatoes and cucumber. Finish it with a little bit of parsley. Parsley. 
parsley. And then mango. So this is where we got the fruit chat fruits. Three ways to do it. Simplest way is just get a tip of the knife and you're just running it down on the opposite end. So you get some really nice cubes. Grab a spoon. Just like that. Can you see? That's it, we're done. That is your salsa. Look at those colours, how, how good they look. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper, but the other way around, obviously. A little bit of olive oil. Give that a mix. We have the sea bass that was four minutes. We've got a couscous that was about three minutes and a salsa with about another five minutes. So all together we've got a full dish in less than 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do is add a little bit of couscous to the plate. This is, this is the pretty stuff. Um, let's add a little bit of this salsa. So those onions, those tomatoes and cucumbers. And just to finish. A little bit more. A little bit of juices just to finish. Just all the way around. And I promise you, for a 15 minute job, it's tasty as well. Very simple dish, 15 minutes, five, five and five. Subscribe, like, comment, share. You have been with the Chef Ramon, which is also my Instagram. Click on the like button. Peace.